out of there right now. I'm in the city already. What am I doing with my life? So earlier this week, I actually um, signed up for this free marketing event and I was like, oh, okay, this sounds like a good idea. And I thought, oh, 9 a.m. It's really early though. But I thought, like, oh, okay, no worries. I'm gonna get back to the real world. I can do this. I have to wake up really early if I get gonna get like you know one of those full time thing anyway. And then I thought, oh maybe it's only like up until 12 o'clock. I can do three hours in the morning and just like slip it off. And I saw it yesterday, the actual email that they sent me. And it's a whole day event. And I'm like far out. Am I gonna be okay? Oh, so that's what happens. It's like 8.30 in the morning on a Saturday right now, 17th of February. Um, I just bought kombucha. I just drank kombucha for the first time. Um, I'm trying to make like a scoby at home. I'm not sure if it's working or not. And I really never tried kombucha before. But this one I really like. It's a ginger flavor. I need to buy like a generic kombucha without the... Um, without any flavor so that I can put it inside my um, currently brewing scoby hopefully that works um, maybe later I need to buy like an on but anyway I'm rambling I'm into kombucha right now I'm trying to grow a scoby that's basically what I'm doing but today hopefully I don't die oh god Oh, so this is the manual that they basically gave me. Uh, I think the guy that is uh, doing this presentation today is the co-founder of this company called Authentic Education. The other co-founder used to work for a different event company. And I used to work for that event company. The that event company folded um, their business about a few years ago. I did my research last night. And yeah, I, so far it's really good. The registration is very organized. There are stuff from the very get-go, from the very um, early on. From the, uh, from this, as soon as you enter the building, they have a staff there to basically guide you to the registration table. So it's very organized, it is very well presented, they have uniforms. Um, this is a lot more organized than when I used to do events. So it feels good to be back on the event circuit. This is my first time there after like, what, 11 years? I'm still tired. Um, I see what they have today, so it looks like it's good. The booklet is basically very standard. Um, they're telling you what they're gonna offer today, and they're also telling you testimonials. And you know, it, my guess is at the end of the day, they're probably gonna do a sales pitch about like what the next programs, upsells, because uh, that's basically how the the e that's how basically the seminar circuit works anyway. They give you free events, give you lots of values, and then they're going to upsell to a lot of, of the next programs, which they deserve because, you know, it costs a lot of money to put like all these things together. I know. I used to organize it. Um, so let's see. So I think this is really good that I'll see you at lunch, I suppose. So we are currently in the middle of in the middle of this marketing thing that I was doing. This is a guy. So he's basically asking us to do a lot of um, to do this recording for one minute. And at the end of this one minute, there's a, uh, he's asking us to uh, ask for the sale. If you guys don't know, and if you guys are new to the channel, I am actually an artist and also a live streamer. Uh, 
slash ballerine to check out all the arts that I have made in the past. Or if you want to contribute directly, you can go to call to this website called coffee.com, which is ko-fi.com slash ballerine. And you can support me directly there and I can keep producing content. So again, I'm currently in the middle of doing this marketing course program called Marketing Academy by this guy called Cam Trang. If you are in Sydney, you really definitely should try this out. He is very good. Anyway, I'll talk to you later after during lunch. Lunch break! Okay. So I'm not really sure what the plan is right now. Um, the marketing so far, the marketing program so far is pretty good. I used to do this like 10 years ago. Uh, so I'm trying to get back to the seminar circuit and see what's up, who the people are. I don't think I'll be networking just because I'm not networking. So mainly, probably just for um, getting a lot of educational, like a lot of like what they are teaching out there. Is it concurrent to what's going on in the real? Um, is it concurrent with what's going on in the real? Yeah, I'm going to the supermarket. Anyway, um, concurrent what's actually happening in the internet world. So I'm like, okay, I want to see whether it's working or not, or like whether it's the same or not. So far, what he's saying is pretty much the same with what's happening like on the digital world. So I'm like, all right, this guy got some merit. I okay, I believe. But then again, he's also Asian, so maybe like. Actual credibility level already being in built in. So I'm like, yeah, I believe you. You're Asian. We want to see results. We want to see what I'm actually trying to see uh, to to see where the supermarket is. Um, I'm going to like, to, yeah, I kind of believe you um, because I feel like I think I'm lost. Oh, I'm on the. I think I'm on the wrong road. Like because you know we're basically about results. We really want to see whether. I am identifying with it right now. We want to see whether what's you know whether what we're doing is working or not. So I kind of like that so far. Uh, the the clip that you saw previously uh, before this was predominantly was just him saying that you know you just have to do it, which is basically what I have been doing. So that's what the the business end of things, I guess. But now it's lunch time. What should we do? I'm getting lost by the way. I'm trying to get to the supermarket and I think I just went down one hub. If you guys are coming from Twitch, uh, actually like uh, I, I ate like meat pies about two three days ago and I realized like if I go down this path here I would actually I would actually go to the original side of the original side of things. So the original Oh The original Harry and Pies. You know what that is? I think if I'm not mistaken, um, about ten years ago, no eleven years ago when I was still doing when I was When I was still doing um, my MBA, which is like my mar uh, master in business study, um, we basically had that particular. We saw that demonstration on a video once of how like you checkpoints, but without a checkpoint, but without like you having to go through the thing. Like you can actually have like a cashless. Kind of system and you don't even have to go through a checkout you can just like basically all your things paid off as soon as you walk out the door i'm not sure if that's that though. but anyway food 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 i don't know this is kind of count as work i think i think i'm just gonna get mcdonald's because i am not trying to be healthy today and i think i need meat and I think I know like um, Emeka's is like McDouble for two dollars, so I'm like that's probably best place of value. Let's just go there and eat McDonald's. He like McDonald's. <laughs> I'm just being cheap.
I came to Sydney. The McDonald's is no more. It used to be in that one. Oh my god, I'm like half an hour away from where I'm supposed to be. And the McDonald's is no longer there. Because basically it's being like a new building is being bought, is being built. So it's gone. Let's see what's around. Ooh. Everyone has kind of like reshuffled themselves around the city. Let's check out this food court. Is it closed today? So this food court is where I used to get lunch. There are, okay, it's closed, I think. Because it used to have a lot of um, Malaysian food. Oh, there you go. That one. That one's open. That's the one that I wanted to buy from. They got laksa. <laughs> laksa boy. Oh my god. This place is still here. Still like 10 years or something. That's what it's called. Um, it's near Pitt Street really. Uh, it's still being owned and run by the same people. And the laksa is not that healthy, but it's really good. Nice. So if you kind of like hang out around the city area, the George Street area, is, um, just go towards the Woolworth, the tiny entrance from Pitt Street. And just before you go inside there, you will see uh, stairs going down to the food court and that's where it is. So that's what it's called. They basically kind of refurbish everything. It didn't look like this before but it's still run by the same people. Uh, they usually have like, those are usually the Vietnamese people and Chinese regular ones. Um, so they got a lot of options and you got like just food courts to see it here. It's a very basic. Yes. So basically that's what it looks like. Oh my god. It may look really really bright and yellow, but it is really good. I legit have to eat this in like 10 minutes because I walk all the way from where we were before, which is like about 15 minutes walk. And, but this is so good. I bought laksa chicken and they give a lot. So you have the first family, the rice noodle, the tofu, chili, chicken, and just very fatty laksa. Very, very fatty laksa. So this is the Singaporean laksa. They have like different type of laksa. It um, depends on your region. So it depends what you want if you want to get laksa. So there's no one specific type of laksa. Oh, you have to taste the broth. The broth is so good though. It is so good. Oh my god. Oh, this is so good. What did I have this morning? I haven't eaten, that's why I'm feeling a bit dry though. You look how fatty that is. That is beautiful right there. That is why it's delicious because it is so fatty. I spilled a lot. Because I ate laksa and I spilled it on my pan. I'm wearing black gloves so it's all good. Like it spilled probably on my shirt too but I can't tell because it's black. Anyway, I'm done! I'm late, I have to go back and not run.
hoping this uh, level is with a lot of people because usually I just come here and then there's no one but today there's a lot of people just eating and uh, like dressing really fancily I'm like ooh hello but let's visit Daiso because there is a Daiso here Okay, apparently there is, apparently there is a I think boy band, Japanese boy band, Japanese girl band there. That's why it's a lot of people. I thought so. I'm like that makes so much more sense. I'm in Daiso now, by the way. I'm just gonna browse. There's so many pretty people right now. Everyone's like dressing up and everything. But anyway, I think I'm gonna sign off here, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you guys don't know, I'm a live streamer, but I'm also a, a artist. So if you guys wanna have a little bit of my soul into your like everyday space, into your physical space, you guys can get something of my work at society6.com slash Valerie. If you guys want to watch some of the live stream, you can go to twitch.tv slash Valerine as well. And, no, slash DA Valerie. The other links will be down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, people.